lose. You will not win because I will not lose. You won't leave a legacy behind. You can die tomorrow. No one's gonna know who the fuck you are, and more importantly, no one's gonna give a fuck. They're gonna be at your funeral silent as shit because you haven't done nothing in your fucking life. That's the truth. A lot of you niggas, if you die tomorrow, no one would give a fuck. That's the truth. Motherfuckers should be happy they cancel Andrew Tate, but I'm still fucking here to tell you're a fucking loser. These bitches don't respect losers. I'm gonna destroy all you fucking pieces of shit. I'm gonna make sure that we hit one million subscribers, whether we die or not. No one is really responsible for their mental health except for you. And no one, you are 100% in control of how you feel. And it's incumbent upon you to hit the gym, get yourself strong, and understand that life isn't easy as a man and you gotta go through it, you gotta struggle. And understanding that you're responsible for how you feel, okay? Taking pills and sitting there and saying, I'm sad, the world sucks, blah, blah, blah. That's not gonna do shit. You need to get out there and change your mindset with your own actions, guys. And I agree with that 100%. A lot of guys are soft, a lot of guys don't understand that they're responsible for their mental health. Not, the, not other people, not the world, not your psychiatrist, not your fucking medicine, not your drugs that you take. You don't need none of that shit, okay? And a lot of times, having better mental health is gonna, you're gonna feel better simply by going to the gym, taking care of yourself, eating better, not surrounding yourself with toxic idiots that don't necessarily add value to your life, abstaining from drugs, drugs, abstaining from alcohol, keeping a clear mind. All of these things are going to make you a better man. My college coach always used to tell me, Idle hands do the devil's work. Guys, the devil's work isn't necessarily committing crimes and doing stupid shit. It can also be putting demons in your head that you're sad and you're depressed, when in reality, you're just a fucking bum. That's the truth. No one wants to take that fucking reality anymore. We live in a world where everyone has participation trophies. You just show up, good enough. Let's give you a pat on the back. Golden star for you. You did this. Fuck that shit. We need winners and we need losers, okay? Because losing is way more important than winning. I'll tell you why. When you lose, it lets you realize I wasn't good enough. And when you realize I wasn't good enough, what happens? Well, if you're a guy and you have some testicles and you're not a fucking bitch, you're more than likely going to say, I need to train more. I need to become better. I need to put myself in a position so I don't feel this pain again, okay? Losing should hurt. You should be painful. And when you lose, you should be like, fuck! And it makes you go back to the drawing board and become a better man. You're responsible for your mental health. Not some fucking weird psychiatrist, psychiatrist bitch named Dr. Stacy giving you pills to numb your pain and make you feel a little bit better temporarily. Fuck that shit. Take your life in your own hands. Mental health is your fucking responsibility. You don't get the privilege to sit there and cry and have a bunch of people coddle you like a bitch. You don't. You're a man. The world is cold, hard, and it sucks. Stop making fucking excuses. All right? No one cares. You know, and this is, sounds terrible, but <clears throat> someone passed away in your family. You're, you're, you know, you're sad. You're depressed. Whatever it is, the reality is no one gives a fuck about your excuses, guys. They'll never tell you that but they don't care because the only thing in the world that matters is your results. No one cares how you get your results or whatever else like that or what you have to overcome to do it. But in general, no one gives a fuck unless you're successful. Then they care about your excuses, mm -hmm. okay? That you overcame. Notice how excuses never matter though. Excuses only matter after you've circumvented them and became who you needed to become and then you can go back and address your potential excuses that you had. But excuses in itself, don't fucking exist, guys, when it comes to being successful. People only care about your results. Being broke, having financial problems in general, comes down to one thing. You spend more than you make. It, we're, it, that, that's basically the root of all financial issues come from spending more than you make. So, and typically, this is either one or a combination of these two things here. You spend too much and you don't save, or B, you don't earn enough. Bam. That's another big one that people don't understand. A lot of you guys say you're broke, whatever, you don't have money, but you fucking are home seven hours a day, eight hours a day, 20 hours a day. Very true. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it is. And the thing is this, if you're a young, able-bodied guy, you should never be fucking home. You know what I'm saying? You should be, or if you are home, you should be fucking working. As a young, healthy man living in the United States, we talked about this in detail with our boy Brandon Carter, you have no fucking excuse to be broke. None. There, th this is called the land of opportunity for a reason. And the thing is, man, a lot of you guys sit there, feel bad for yourself. Fuck, man, I can't make money. Or, man, the man's holding me down. Or, yo, uh, they discriminate against me, blah, 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 all this other fuck shit, bro. Listen, there's people that come to this country, guys, that can't speak a lick of English. There's people that die on their journey to come here. I talked to you guys about this before. 
when I was an agent for Homeland Security Investigations, one of the crimes I investigated was human smuggling, guys. During that travel, so many people died, okay? People come from China, people come from the Middle East, people come from Europe, people come from Africa, people come from all over the place, go into Mexico, fly in, and try to cross into the U.S.-Mexican border through the Rio Grande or through the desert on the other, uh, you know, whether it's through Texas or through California, Arizona, whatever, and they fucking die. Border Patrol agents fight dead people in the brush all the time, guys. And that tells you right there that you are afforded an amazing opportunity that people are willing to fucking die and risk everything for. It's not because the man, it's because of you. You know what I'm saying? When you point a finger and say, oh, this person is just like yeah, blah, blah, blah. Look back at the fucking three fingers who are pointing back at your dumb ass. Because that's the reality. A lot of you guys are poor and broke because of your own decisions. And let's keep it all the way 1,000. A lot of you guys have a saving problem, but the real issue is a lot of you motherfuckers have an earning problem. Damn. I don't care if you gotta work a fucking low, low wage job for a couple months just to get your business off the ground or to use it as a stepping stone to get promoted, whatever it is. As an able-bodied man, you should not be home. You should be working. You should be fucking grinding. You should not be broke. Okay? You should get to a point where you work so much that you don't even have time to spend your fucking money. Fact. And if you do spend your money, you don't gotta go and check your bank account every two seconds. That is the worst feeling ever, bro. A lot of you guys bunch of, buy a bunch of stupid shit for, to impress stupid people that don't give a fuck about you, all right? My dad taught me, at, from a young age, to not be a fucking bitch. It's on you. If you lose, it's on you. If you win, it's on you. Win and take fucking all. You gonna wake up, become a better man, stop smoking the pot, stop doing the drugs, stop drinking and fucking during the day, stop being a fucking loser chasing after bitches that don't give a fuck about you, or are you gonna become a fucking better man? When we sit here, we keep making fucking excuses. We fucking attack each other, we kill each other, we fucking try to make fun of each other for speaking proper English or being educated. It all plays into itself. Not smoking pot, not making excuses for your inadequacies, not blaming other people, not blaming other races, not blaming your environment. It's on you, man.